The latest figures from the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, show that at the end of February 2024, some 1. 7 million older people were claiming attendance allowance. Of that overall total, over 1. 6 meters are receiving additional financial support, including nearly 144,000 living in Scotland. Those in hospital or care home may see payments paused, but their entitlement is unaffected. Attendance allowance is worth either £72.65, lower rate, or £108.55, higher rate, each week and as the benefit is usually paid every four weeks, this amounts to either £290. 60 or 434 pounds and 20 pence every pay period, some 5,644 pounds and 60 pence over the 2024-25 financial year. How much someone receives depends on the level of support needed and the benefit is designed to help people of state pension age with daily living expenses which can also help them stay independent in their own home for longer. It's important to be aware there is no mobility component attached to attendance allowance. Number of attendance allowance claimants, February 2024 The number of older people receiving payments includes, Scotland, 143,724 England, 1,352,651 Wales, 106,096 living abroad. 5,615 total, 1,608,134 The benefit supports people with a disability, long-term illness and mental or physical health issues. The list of conditions supported through attendance allowance is long, but the most common disabling condition, an umbrella term used by the DWP, is arthritis which provides support for 460,993 people across Great Britain, including 42,115 in Scotland. 10 Most Claimed Conditions Supported by Attendance Allowance The 10 conditions listed below are supporting 1,165,693, 74% of the 1. 6 meters total number of people receiving attendance allowance payments. Medical conditions are sourced from information recorded on the DWP's attendance allowance computer system. It's important to note that this list is not a checklist for claiming attendance allowance, it is intended to help people understand what type of conditions are being supported. However, if you need extra support during the day or night due to a long-term illness, disability or health condition, you should check out the official eligibility guidance on the Gov. UK website here. Main condition and number of claimants across Great Britain Arthritis 460,993 Dementia 167,366 Heart Disease 118,570 Respiratory Conditions 98,211 Disease of the Muscles Bones or joints 81,914 Cerebrovascular disease 72,870 Back pain 71,020 Visual disorders and diseases 49,677 Parkinson's 42,695 Neurological conditions 33,812 Below is everything you need to know about attendance allowance including the main health conditions being claimed eligibility and how to make a claim. What is attendance allowance? Attendance allowance helps with extra costs if you have a physical or mental disability or illness severe enough that makes it hard for you to look after yourself, it does not cover mobility needs. You do not need to have someone caring for you in order to make a claim. Who can claim? You should apply for attendance allowance if you have a disability or illness and need help or supervision throughout the day or at times during the night even if you don't currently get that help. This might include, help with your personal care, for example getting dressed, 
eating or drinking, getting in and out of bed, bathing or showering and going to the toilet help to stay safe you should also apply if you have difficulties with personal tasks. For example if they take you a long time, you experience pain or you need physical help, like a chair to lean on. Attendance allowance isn't just for people with a physical disability or illness. You should also claim if you need help or supervision throughout the day or night and have a mental health condition learning difficulties a sensory condition if you are deaf or visually impaired how much could I get on attendance allowance you could receive either 72 pounds 65 lower rate or 108 pounds and 55 pence higher rate each week this amounts to either 290 pounds 60 or 434 pounds and 20 pence every pay period you can spend the money however you like and it could help you stay independent in your own home for longer this might include paying for taxis helping towards bills paying for a cleaner or gardener can i claim attendance allowance even if i have savings and other income yes Attendance allowance isn't means tested so it doesn't matter what other money you have coming in or how much you have in savings either, Terry no limit. It is also tax free and you will be exempt from the benefit cap so you won't have money taken away from any other benefits. Will attendance allowance affect my state pension? No, it won't affect your state pension and you can even claim it if you're still working and earning money. How does attendance allowance affect other benefits? The other benefits you get might increase if you get attendance allowance, these include, extra pension credit housing benefit reduction council tax reduction How do I make a claim? You will need to complete a long claim form when you apply for attendance allowance. It might seem daunting at first but help is available from your nearest citizen's advice, so don't let the form put you off applying. If you'd prefer to do it yourself you can follow the citizen's advice guide on how to fill in your claim form here. Full details of how to get the application form by post or over the phone can be found on the Gov. UK website here. What happens if I am about to reach state pension age? If you are thinking about applying for attendance allowance when you reach state pension age, you might be better off claiming personal independence payment PIP, straight away, you may be able to get more money. Who cannot claim attendance allowance? You won't be able to get attendance allowance if you already get PIP or Disability Living Allowance DLA, to pay for your care. If you apply for attendance allowance while getting DLA, the DWP will usually reassess your DLA award instead. You can renew your PIP or DLA when the existing award ends as long as you still meet the eligibility criteria. If your renewal is unsuccessful you can apply for attendance allowance instead. Find out more about attendance allowance on the Gov. UK website here. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for money saving tips, the latest benefits news, energy bill advice and cost of living updates. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday with a special cost of living edition every Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day or at money news alerts on your phone by joining our daily record money WhatsApp community.